Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing we will be discussing SCP-6584. While there isn't any objectionable material in this document, I do need to verify that you all got your temporary clearance from the Department of Pataphysics to view this file. Agent Bryant, since you clearly failed to upgrade your clearance, you can clean the barracks latrines during this briefing. Dismissed. Everyone else ready? Let's begin. Notice from the Department of Pataphysics. Some of the contents described within this file may possess multiple embedded narrative hazard vectors that, if perceived by non-inoculated individuals, have the capability of causing severe damage to themselves and the baseline narrative, along with the intersecting sub-narratives associated with it. As such, only personnel from the Department of Pataphysics are allowed to view this file. Item Number SCP-6584 Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures SCP-6584's perpetual function is currently being maintained by the Department of Pataphysics. Usage of SCP-6584 outside of testing is only allowed with the approval of the current Pataphysics Director and the majority of the Overseer Command. In the event SCP-6584 is somehow rendered ineffective or otherwise unusable, the extra-dimensional Pikmin Ranger's narrative fluctuation anchor is to be immediately activated in order to avoid on-site sub-reality failure of the anomalies affected by SCP-6584. Description SCP-6584 is the designation given to an artificial metafictional construct created by the Department of Pataphysics, capable of terminating or nullifying the progression of authorial interference with baseline reality. Or, in simpler terms, capable of halting the continued development of the expanding in-universe narrative. SCP-6584 can be metaphysically applied to any sort of anomaly, including anomalous objects, entities, locations, and phenomena. Once an anomaly is chosen and applied, SCP-6584 will cause a pataphysical effect that would cause the anomaly in question to no longer be further developed in other realities by either the same or a different authorial figure, henceforth referred to as SWN-001 entities. This would result in the anomaly being functionally inert. The exact method of how this effect functions is as of yet unknown. Though it is theorized by Foundation pataphysicists that SCP-6584 somehow discharges a highly influential memetic hazard known as a, quote, omni-meme, capable of breaching the patosphere mantle and affecting multiple SWN-001 entities. The memetic hazard would hypothetically trigger a psychological condition in the SWN-001 entities, in which they would experience a perpetual creative slowdown or writer's block. Utilization Addendum Since its initial creation in 2028, the Foundation has utilized SCP-6584 on several occasions, and after careful consideration, it was decided by the majority of the Overseer Council that the Department of Pataphysics began commencing Project Burnout, an operation that's mainly aimed to apply SCP-6584 to as many anomalies under Foundation observation as possible. Project Burnout was proven to be successful, with over 5,000 anomalies no longer showing signs of narrative development, thus preventing multiple containment breaches and manifestations of new anomalous properties. Additionally, the Analytics Division has noted a staggering decline in the discovery and recovery of new anomalies, along with an all-time low in workplace conflict and stress among Foundation personnel. By 2030, it is believed that the Foundation would finally achieve a Ren-class, Quiet Days scenario. Attached Update The current Pataphysics Director, Dr. Placeholder McDoctorate, decided that SCP-6584 would be put through the same process as Project Burnout, meaning that SCP-6584's effects would be applied to itself. According to Dr. McDoctorate, this was done in order to remove any sort of SWN-001 interference associated with SCP-6584. Once SCP-6584 was applied to the chosen anomaly, it culminated in the connected SWN-001 entity, known simply as ND Heckfire, undergoing SCP-6584's effects, thus removing its control and authorial dominance over SCP-6584's expanding in-universal narrative. This seems to have resulted in... Huh. Guess it worked. Alright class, head over to admin to get your temporary clearance revoked, and then go over to medical for your targeted amnestics. Don't try and do it the other way around. And I'll see you all in the next briefing. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. 
contain, protect. 